Okay, so the scenario today is that we have an alignment file and we want to create an identity matrix showing uh, how much identity each one of the sequences shares to the other. So in our case, we have uh, four sequences in an alignment file that we performed previously and we want to come up with the 4x4 four four identity matrix uh, for those four sequences in that alignment file. And we're going to use a software program called BioEdit that's freely available on the web and I'll post a, a link in this video of where to uh, access that at and where to download it from. Uh, but we're going to use BioEdit to create that identity matrix. So we already have the alignment and we're going to go to wherever we have stored the alignment and we're going to open it in BioEdit. So in my case I'm going to right click on it, open with, choose another app, and then I'm going to go and I'm going to choose BioEdit. And now that I have it open in BioEdit, I'm going to go to Alignment, and I'm going to go to Sequence Identity Matrix, and I'm going to choose where to save it, and I'm going to save it as a CSV file. So it's a comma separated value file. And I'm going to call it, in this case, alpha actinins uh, ID matrix. And I'm going to click save. Now this is going to open it up in BioEdit. But it's not really that readable here in BioEdit. So we really want to open it in uh, a program like Excel. So now that we have it saved, we can close BioEdit, and then what we want to do is we want to open Excel. We don't want to go to the file and open the file first. We want to open Excel first. And once Excel opens, then we're going to go to a file and open, and we're going to browse to uh, that particular file that has the identity matrix within it and we're going to open it. And that's going to going to uh, trigger some converters in Excel that will give us some options to on how to open that file. And we're going to have to change the filter here to all files. And then we see here is our identity matrix. Now, BioEdit does not add a .csv uh, extension to the end of the, the file. So uh, it's just shown as a file here. So that's why we had to change the filter to all files. And we're going to open it. And it's now asking me if I trust this source because it doesn't recognize... Uh, the, the file format. And we're going to say yes we do. We want to open it anyway. And now it's a delimited file so it's a comma separated uh, value file which is a comma delimited file. And so we're going to leave that on delimited and on the next screen we're going to select comma. We're going to get rid of tab and we're going to click next and then we're going to click, we don't need to change the format of any of the, the columns so we're just going to click finish. And now we have the identity matrix right here. Uh, of course, the diagonal it just says ID. That's the equivalent of 100% identity, or uh, you could put a 1 there if you wanted to, and it would be the, uh, the same. But now that we can, we can see that sequence number 1 uh, shows 80% identity to sequence number 2. Sequence number 1 shows... 79.8% uh, identity to sequence 3 and sequence number 1 shows 75.5% identity to sequence 4. So there's your identity matrix. Uh, you can reformat it in Excel however you want to. Uh, of note, you really don't need the, the upper uh, triangle of the matrix for a whole lot of different analyses, uh, including if you were going to publish this, you probably wouldn't want to show uh, both upper and uh, lower identity matrices uh, because they're the same. Uh, anyway, I hope this helped you out. Uh, if you uh, like the video, please like it uh, and please subscribe to the channel. Uh, if you have requests for uh, how to do other things, uh, nothing's 
too simplistic, I mean, just just ask. Uh, you can go through the discussion tab on the channel and uh, just post a comment there, and I will uh, uh, try to respond to all comments with a video showing how to do various tasks. So, thanks for watching.